logged into the online services site here in the control panel and we're signed in as demo master user 2. We're going to create a sub user now by clicking on the create sub user button at the top right. Once on the create sub user, the first thing we have to do is input the actual user information for this particular user. Next we're going to assign this user into an actual account. We can see a cut down version of the account on the right here. We're going to put this user in the demo sub account 1. We now need to provide this user with a first time user password. This is a password which you can then inform the user and they will be able to log in with this for the first time on which they'll be actually asked to change their password so that the system is secure. At any point we can cancel this user's creation if we wanted to we're happy with the details of input so we're going to click save. That user is now created and we now need to assign different policy rights to that actual user. By default the user will get policy servicing and illustrations but we can remove those at any time by simply de-checking the box. The online servicing can only be accessed through the online dealing form, at which point the user will be granted access, which you can then remove by de-checking this box at any time in the future. Finally, we need to add some policies to this user. Because it's in a sub-account, and the sub-account only has access to these five policies, we only have these five policies to be able to pass on. Should you want different policies for this user, you would first have to pass them on to the sub account and the sub masters in that account. That's now saved with user permissions, so we can go back to the control panel. And from here, we can see our demo sub user is now being created. This user has a provisional status, which means that they have not yet activated their account. The user will be sent an email, and along with the password that you will provide them that you set up on the page, they'll be able to go to their activation link and activate their account. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have any queries, you can contact our online support team at websupport at rl360.com. Thanks for watching.